So my name is Carsten Nebel. I'm a professor for digital fabrication and usability engineering at Rheinwald University of Applied Sciences and also the director of the Fab Lab Camp Linford. Within the last semester, we had a course which is called Interdisciplinary Project. And this year, uh, we were aiming for building a house and we did it. So we made a house which was fabricated in a Fab Lab. We were using the digital fabrication tools such as the CNC machine to create pieces of the house. So the idea of our fab house is based on wiki houses. This is a concept of open source houses where you can download your, your sketches, your files, and then if you have access to machines, you can fabricate it. So that's the same idea, but uh, we did a slightly change of the design because we wanted to have something that grows. The original wiki house can't grow, our house can grow because we made it in, in kinds of segments uh, that you can attach to your house to make it bigger or even smaller depending on your requirements. So because we want to make a sustainable house, you have to deal with changing requirements as well. The house needs to grow or it can even decrease. In this project, we applied um, a specific approach, which we call Eco Design Sprint. It is an approach that drives you uh, through a very short period of time in creating something, but at the same time considering environmental aspects, sustainability aspects. So whatever we did in order to build the house, we were always asking ourselves, what about the sustainability of this, the tools that you use and also the material that you use. Hi, I am the architect of Fab House project and I came with the idea of the rainy weather of the Camp Limfort in Germany. So I was thinking about the project and the, uh, the form of the house, how it should be. So I actually influenced by um, a, a plant in front of my house and this plant has got a really white converted leaf. Uh, it was collecting rainwater in the core all the time. Uh, I, was, I, I, I always liked to play with this rainwater. I was dropping down, I was touching the, the rainwater. So I came with the idea of the house should actually, we can invert the roofs uh, and we can collect the rainwater in the middle of the house. So most of the time to build such a house uh, is of course the planning part. And as this is a prototype, it took us about two months to come up with a design that works. Then we created a first prototype, that's the, the thing in which I'm sitting right now, um, in which we can see and test whether everything works as expected. And then we started with the production, and the production took us about two weeks, maybe three weeks, more or less, to produce about 500 parts, uh, single parts for the house. And then we started with the assembly. And if the weather would have been better, I would quite optimistically say uh, within one week you can assemble such a house. So in this interdisciplinary project the student had to cover different questions or to deal with different questions. For example, what kind of material should we use for the construction of the house? Which kind of wood do we want to use? Or uh, the roof, what kind of material is appropriate for a sustainable roof? At the end we ended up with a metal roof of thin sheets of metal which was luckily sponsored by Sigmetal, a German company. The focus of this project was of course not to sell houses in the future. The focus was to study whether it's possible, whether it's doable to build houses in the Fab Lab. As follow-up projects for this house, uh, we will deal with questions about how to supply the house with energy or heating systems in, an, in a sustainable way. What is an adequate heating system uh, for this um, local area, you can say? These are questions we will deal with in the future, uh, just as an example. Mm -hmm.